In this video, I'm going to show you how to deploy a fully functional WhatsApp bot on GitHub for free. Whether you're a tech enthusiast, a business owner looking to enhance your WhatsApp engagement, or simply someone curious about automation, this tutorial is tailored for you. Deploying a WhatsApp bot not only adds incredible functionality to your messaging experience, but also opens up new avenues for exploring what's possible with automation. By the end of this video, you'll have a bot equipped with over 200 powerful features, ready to enhance your WhatsApp interactions. To start this project, the first and most important step is ensuring you have a GitHub account. If you already have an account, you're ahead of the game. For those who don't, creating one is simple and free. Head over to github.com, where you'll see an option to sign up. Here, you'll need to provide a valid email address, create a secure password, and choose a unique username. GitHub will then send you a confirmation email, be sure to check your inbox and click on the provided link to activate your account. Once you've verified your email, your GitHub account is ready to go, giving you access to a world of development tools and repositories. The next step is navigating to GitHub Code Spaces. Code Spaces is an incredible feature offered by GitHub that provides a cloud-based development environment. Essentially, it gives you an online workspace where you can execute commands, write code, and deploy projects, all without needing to configure your local machine. To access Code Spaces, visit GitHub Code Spaces. I've also included a direct link in the description below to make things easier. Once on the Code Spaces page, you'll be presented with various options. Select the blank template. This template is straightforward and provides a clean slate making it ideal for this project. Click on Use this template, and you'll be taken to a terminal interface. For those unfamiliar, a terminal is a command line interface that allows you to execute commands directly. This is where the rail work begins. The commands required to deploy your bot are hosted on a dedicated GitHub repository, and I've provided the link to this repository in the description box below. On this repository page, you'll notice two methods for deploying the bot on a virtual private server, VPS. The first method is the quick installation, which involves running a single command to get everything up and running. The second method is the manual installation, which requires you to input six distinct codes one by one into the terminal. While both methods yield the same results, each has its own benefits. The quick installation is faster and more straightforward, while the manual installation gives you more insight into the process. For this video, I'll be demonstrating the quick method, as it's efficient and beginner-friendly. Start by copying the quick installation code from the repository. Return to the GitHub Code Spaces terminal and paste the code. Once you hit enter, the installation process will begin. At this point, the terminal will download and install all the necessary dependencies and files needed for the bot to operate. At first instance, you will be asked for the bot name, I will name mine Basher then hit enter. You can give your bot any name. If asked if you have session ID, type Y then hit enter. The speed of the installation depends on various factors. Your computer's processor, the speed of your internet connection, and even the load on GitHub servers can influence how quickly the process completes. On average, it should take only a few minutes if you have a stable internet connection and a relatively modern computer. During the installation, you'll encounter a crucial step, scanning a QR code. This step is what links the bot to your WhatsApp account. Open WhatsApp on your phone and navigate to the Link Devices section, which is accessible via the Settings menu. Tap on Link a device, then point your phone's camera at the QR code displayed in the terminal. Within seconds, your bot will be connected to WhatsApp, allowing it to start functioning seamlessly. Once the installation process is complete, you'll notice that the bot's external plugins have been automatically populated. These plugins are the backbone of the bot's functionality, enabling it to perform a wide range of tasks. With everything set up, it's time to test the bot. Open WhatsApp on your phone and try out some of the commands. You'll quickly see the bot in action, responding to your inputs and showcasing its capabilities. This WhatsApp bot is packed with features designed to enhance your messaging experience. One of its standout features is the anti-link functionality. This feature is perfect for group admins who want to maintain order by blocking unwanted links. The anti-delete feature is another game-changer, 
It allows you to recover messages that others delete, ensuring you never miss out on important information. Similarly, the Antiview Once feature lets you retain media that was shared as a view once, making it accessible whenever you need it. Scheduling messages is another powerful capability of this bot. Whether you're sending reminders, scheduling birthday wishes, or planning announcements, this feature ensures your messages are sent at the perfect time. Additionally, the bot can provide real-time weather updates. Simply input your location or the location you're curious about, and the bot will deliver accurate weather forecasts in seconds. For those who love personalization, the bot allows you to set a full-size profile picture without cropping. This feature is perfect for showcasing your photos exactly as they are, without compromising their quality or dimensions. Beyond these highlights, the bot boasts over 200 additional features, ranging from spam detection to media management. Testing these features is an exciting process. Start with the basics, like the anti-delete and scheduling commands, and gradually explore the more advanced functionalities. The bot is designed to be intuitive, so you'll quickly get the hang of it. Maintaining your bot is crucial for ensuring it runs smoothly. Since the bot operates within a code space, it's important to keep the code space active. If it goes inactive, simply restart it by reopening the terminal and re-entering the deployment command. Additionally, keep an eye out for updates from the bot's developers. Updates often include new features, bug fixes, and performance enhancements, so staying updated ensures you're getting the best experience. If you encounter any issues during the setup or operation of the bot, don't hesitate to reach out for help. Alternatively, you can leave a comment below this video, and I'll do my best to assist you. Deploying a WhatsApp bot on GitHub is more than just a technical achievement, it's an introduction to the world of automation and innovation. Whether you're a seasoned developer or a curious beginner, this project offers valuable insights and opens the door to new possibilities. If you found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up and share it with anyone who might benefit from it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more tech tips, tutorials, and updates. Make sure to ring the notification bell so you never miss an update. Also, don't forget to check out the next video on the left side of the screen, where I'll be exploring the top features of this WhatsApp bot in detail. If this video amazed you, trust me, the next one will blow your mind too. Are you see there?